Greetings, ladies and gents, and welcome to Kingdom Investors. Thank you so much for giving up your time to be here and to be about your father's business. Um, I'd like to thank the hosts and the chapter leaders for all of their hard work and the dedication that it takes to put one of these events on. And of course, I'd also like to thank all, the, all of your team that works with you and, and to help you guys. Uh, if there are any pastors and church leaders here, we thank you for taking an interest in what the uh, business people are doing. And we absolutely honor you guys because, you know, for what you, <laughs> you yourselves are doing, you guys have got the hardest job. I wouldn't want to be a pastor. So, uh, but we love the local church and we know that we cannot function safely in the marketplace without the spiritual covering provided by the local church. And that is why we're so committed to actually funding our churches and so on. So thank you once again for coming. Um, if there are any new people here or any first timers, we warmly welcome you. And I'm going to take a minute to explain the vision of KI so that you know what we're all about. Now, the objective of KI is to help you and your business to really multiply supernaturally. Uh, or if you're not in business, your affluence and your influence to multiply supernaturally so that together we can bring the kingdom of God into the marketplace by creating sheep nations or just nations around the world. Um, a sheep nation or a just nation is derived from the biblical narrative of sheep and goat nations in Matthew 25. And in the modern day marketplace, this is a community or a city or a country where we've largely eradicated the social distress and the human misery caused by a Babylonian culture of greed and self-centeredness, which has dominated the marketplace for thousands of years. And we've actually replaced it with a kingdom culture um, of caring and sharing in the marketplace, which always leads to um, universal prosperity and human flourishing. Okay, and of course, as you guys would know, human flourishing is representative of what the kingdom of God should look like on earth. Okay, now caring and sharing in the marketplace is completely counterintuitive and it is the opposite of what we're taught at university and business schools um, in terms of, you know, competing aggressively for market share and wiping out the opposition, even if the opposition happens to be your fellow Christians. Okay, and therefore, uh, such a huge cultural change that we're advocating can only be achieved by proving the concept. So in other words, proving to the business world that they will make much, much more money and they will be able to prosper their whole community if they do business God's way. So <clears throat> we prove this concept by rolling out KI chapters around the world and teaching the business people who attend these chapters how to think and how to trade God's way to bring prosperity to themselves, to their local churches and to the whole community. And then as more and more business people begin to trade God's way, the city reaches a tipping point whereby the whole city is transformed into a socio-economic culture of caring and sharing, then systemic misery or systemic human misery, if you like, is eradicated at its source. And that's the crucial bit. And then the kingdom of God prevails. Okay. The tipping point is approximately 6% uh, of the owners of small to medium enterprises in each city. And this is because the SMEs represent over 99% of all business in cities. <clears throat> the SMEs are actually the organizations that control the culture and the, and the, the economic and social well-being of any city. Okay, so 6% of them, you'll be, you'll be really surprised. It's actually quite a small number. For example, Brisbane uh, in Australia, it's our, it's our third biggest city on Australia, has 2.4 million people. There are 196,000 odd SMEs in Brisbane. 6% is only 11,700 business owners, okay? So if we can change the way 11,700 business owners think and how they operate in the marketplace, we will change the whole city of 2.4 million people. And then we'll start to bring the kingdom of God into the city, all right? Now, as more and more cities reach tipping points, the concept of God's economy is proven again and again, and eventually the whole nation is transformed. Our teachers, the ones who teach you guys, okay, uh, are millionaires and even billionaires who have started with nothing and learned how to do business God's way in a practical sense, okay, and are now transforming their own cities. Uh, we've de designed world leading tools to train and manage and monitor the process or the progress, if you like, of the business people as they transform their cities. 
The ASPN program, which is being deployed later this year, is a cutting edge platform which teaches marketplace participants, so not just business people, everybody in the marketplace, a much more lucrative way of doing business. It provides business development modules to physically grow um, businesses and opportunities to network in the marketplace, and it enrolls the business people into the world's most strategic ethical business register, and it guides them on a path of intentionally ridding their cities of social and economic distress. Okay, Now, at most KI meetings, they're a mixture of people uh, that come from all walks of life. You guys would probably know most of each other, but I'm addressing the new folks here who don't know everybody in the room or in the auditorium today. Some people are in business, some are employees, some are doing the impossible job of managing the family at home. I call them domestic engineers. Okay, um, others are political leaders, we have church leaders, we have different denominations, uh, quite often secular people who have no faiths whatsoever uh, attend KI. They just want to create a better world for all, all right? But regardless of your vocation, your ethnic background, your religion, the principles we teach apply right across the board and everybody will benefit from them, okay? Now, these principles are from the Bible. And it absolutely doesn't matter if you're a Christian or not. These principles work and they remain the only economic modeling which creates long-term human flourishing. Just so that you understand, you know, I'm making some pretty sweeping statements here, okay? But there's credibility to the statements. Um, we have become world leaders. When I say we, KI, we've become world leaders in applied biblical economics. Um, you know, we get calls from universities, some of them in the top 10 world leading universities, governments, economic summits, think tanks, uh, economists, even economists from central banks, CEOs of big companies, all sorts of different organizations, some of them really significant organizations, seeking our input into their economic modeling, okay? And using our lectures and so on on every continent. The biggest online video Bible college in the world has over 20,000 campuses, and they, all of them, use our content uh, um, as part of their bachelor's um, course, all right? So my point is you're in very capable hands here today at KI, and I hope you really enjoy uh, the meeting, and I hope that you, in, uh, that you actually join KI and, and help us and join us in restoring the world uh, to what God intended it to be. So God bless and thanks so much for coming.